Primarily what you're going to actually be doing with limits in calculus uh, on your test is solving them or computing them. And there's about four main ways of doing this in my opinion depending on what problem you have. Uh, the first way, and I'm going to have videos on each of these methods by the way, um, right after this. So the first thing you usually can try to do is just to plug in the number. So something like this is an example of when just plugging in this value for x would give you the right answer. You just plug in one for every x value. And that's like polynomials. Um, or you can do this almost any time you don't get zero over zero. The second thing you can do is you can either factor or expand something in your function. So for example, this limit problem I've, drew, uh, I've written right here, you could factor the denominator and some things would cancel. And then you'd be able to do number one, plug it in. So anytime you see something you could factor or maybe you've got uh, like x plus one quantity squared and you could expand that uh, and maybe cancel some things, I don't know. Um, number three is getting a common denominator. This is characterized when you see two fractions. So anytime I see two fractions, my instinct is to get a common denominator and combine those two things. And then some things should cancel after doing a little bit of algebra. The fourth step is uh, multiplying by the conjugate. And that's characterized by a square root in the limit. So anytime you see a square root in the limit problem, it's almost always a good idea to multiply by the conjugate. So I'm gonna make a couple videos uh, for each of these different uh, methods. And after you watch those, you should be able to solve just about any limit your professor throws at you. Thanks for watching.